this is what we found inside the box your gift from Google um, we have introducing the total worth the weight phone the Google Pixel 4a uh, we couldn't wait any longer to get the Pixel 4a in the hands of some of our biggest supporters that's you actually I supported them which is why you are one of the very first in the country to try out Pixel 4a four weeks before it goes on sale the world's smallest phone launch is our, our way of giving you everything you need to get grips with Pixel 4a in true unboxing style on the handy user guide to a pop-out stand that will help you shoot your stars that's I think they're talking about astrophotography if you decide to share your experience don't forget to tag us and to mention this is a free gift from Google let's remove this so here we have something which is like a stand to create a, a desk stand and set tab C to slot C or whatever what about doing it now? I can do it now, you know sit like that and the phone is supposed to stand here I guess this is it that is very very weird very weird anyway I made it so inside now you have a lot of them, a bit of everything. Uh, this is the bitter sweet grip. Let me take a photo of that. It looks really good. Uh, the presentation of the box, everything, right? That's a very special box. Explore, discover, enjoy. The mini marvel. And inside the mini marvel, uh, there are some kind of crackers. Or I don't really know what they are. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. I like them. Um, and you have the bittersweet grip, which is really difficult to remove. Um, that's some. They also taste good. I put them aside. The no groaning activity. We have no idea what it is. It leaked a little bit inside the box. Um, it's basically orange juice. But that one I will put in the fridge because uh, it leaked already. I, I don't know why. No idea. Put it aside. <laughs> and you have the user guide. Uh, the world's smallest phone launch. This is this is crazy anyway. Uh, what's in the box? Pixel 4A. The DIY stand, which is very difficult to make. I still haven't been able to make it properly. I think. Um, the mini mouthful snacks, bittersweet treat. Use less of this. Okay, this means that it has a lot of power. Then stream more with YouTube music. I don't know if it comes with YouTube music. I'm already a YouTube premium subscriber, so I have YouTube music. Uh, I don't know if it will become free with this. I have no idea. Snap more selfies. Enjoying more of this, knowing you've got plenty of battery left. Capture the cosmos, that's for astrophotography, and I can't wait to really test that. Uh, but even though here in the UK we don't really have good sky with, you know, uh, a lot of stars, most of the time it's foggy.
Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, first of all, I want to see. This is the phone, by the way. And it comes with a pretty small box. The box is not big. I was expecting the box to be big because the OnePlus box is so big, but this one is just small, compact, simple. Hmm. It reminds me of my Moto G, the first gen. It had a very slim box as well, but it was, I think, a bit slimmer than this. I really love it. What's left? Nothing, I think. Thank you, Google. Now, let's open this. I still have this on me. Okay, so this is the Pixel 4a, guys. I'm going to open it. It's very simple to open. You know, you don't have to use the knife. You can just pull the tongue like it's showing an arrow. Just pull it and that's it. No knives, no... You know, I had to grow my nails just to open boxes because I don't always, always have knives. The knives are forbidden here in the UK. You can't go around with knives, so... I'm not always in the kitchen, so I, I need to open boxes sometimes, so that's why. And... This is the phone. You know what? The phone actually looks better in real life. It looks so great in real life. And this is it. This phone is gorgeous. Seriously, it's really gorgeous. Um, and it has a matte finish. I really love the matte finish of the phone. That's so great. Like, look at the matte finish. And it's a very compact phone, really. Removing this. That's such a beautiful phone. I swear to you, this is a beautiful phone. We'll come to it later. What else is inside the box? You have the Google, there's a SIM tool here if you want to put your SIM inside. Um, I'm not going to put my SIM straight away. And you have the Pixel user guide, which I'm not going to read. I don't think I need to read it now. You have a very compact uh, charger. I really like those chargers. They are very compact. Um, the one I have with the OnePlus 7 Pro is very big. I don't like it, even though it's, it's a fast charger, but I prefer having a small charger because you can really pack them everywhere easily. You have also the USB Type C to C cable. I prefer that than Type C to A. And there's the adapter, the OTG device, which I, I don't know, they made it so difficult to remove. Yeah. So these are what comes with the phone. So this is the phone. It, I, you know what? I, I don't know if it's because it's new, but I really like the way it looks. It looks compact. And normally, uh, my main device is uh, OnePlus 7 Pro 5G, as I said it so many times. Uh, this is the OnePlus 7 Pro 5G, and this is a piece of power. Like, I don't have that many big hands. My hands are not that big, but still, you know, this one is really small and cool and compact, you know. Let me try to turn it on. 
man, I'm loving this. I'm really loving it. I also own the iPhone 7. Uh, I don't need a new iPhone because they're all the same anyway. And the iPhone 7, this is it, like it's really close to the iPhone 7, which is basically the same size as the iPhone SE. Yeah, look. But still, you have a bigger screen. It is really great. Let me take the other way. By the way, you have eSIM. E this support eSIM. This is something that I've always wanted, but my OnePlus does not support eSIM. They support eSIM. And it's really great. Something that I'm realizing on this phone, uh, you know, this OnePlus 7 Pro has the haptic feedback, obviously, but the haptic feedback here is way better. One of the main things I love. I don't know if Google Keep is installed already, so that I can show you, but you see, there's, yes, okay. This is very small, like the, the bar that you have here, you can't even notice it, you barely notice it. It's very small and it's great because when you have the OnePlus, you know, I even hidden the bar on the OnePlus, but when you actually go to um, the button and gestures, navigation bar and gestures if i don't hide the bar it's that big and it creates a very white thing that you don't really understand why you know so i had to hide it so i don't have any bar anywhere but here the bar is there but still you can't even notice it it's very small and cute and seriously the haptic feedback here is way better i this is incredible the haptic feedback here is so great. This is a camera. Let me shoot my own phone to see what it will be like. Got it. So whenever you shoot, it takes some time to process and then the photo comes out great. I had to install Gcam on my OnePlus, but this one, I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing, but the photo comes out so great. Yeah, so you have the panorama photosphere. Uh, I use panorama and photosphere a lot. Uh, I know people like wide angle. I like wide angle as well, but I never complained about it. Um, most of the time, I use Panorama, and uh, yeah, I'm one of the rare people who use Photosphere. You have video, and apparently they improved on the video here. Uh, I will check it later and let you know. You have the camera, portrait mode, that I'll test later as well, and night sights. That's, that's so great. This is the front facing. It doesn't look okay right now. Do I touch anything here? No. So this is it. This is the phone. This this is great. This this is really great. I, I don't know what to say, but it's great. I'm happy about this. Thank you so much, Google. Um, I take some time to go around the phone and tell you what I think about it. It's it's very good. Thank you so much.